<laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I'm cracking myself up so much today. Worse than normal. My name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing an all day wear test on the NYX Professional Makeup. Stay matte but not flat. I like that. I like that. This is in soft beige. It is, it says to shake well but like nothing shook so I don't understand the shake well. This is in 1.18 fluid ounces. It's in a little squeeze tube and I really like squeeze tubes for traveling. I think these are fantastic. I was worried that this color would be a little dark for me, but once I got it on, it it didn't seem to be the, well, maybe in the camera it does, but it doesn't seem to be on my skin what this tube looked like, which is kind of, I guess, good because had I bought this online and usually I buy my stuff either way too dark or way too light. So when I got this, I was like, ooh, if that matches the tube, that's going to be way too dark. It actually went on really nice. The other thing that I liked about this is that I didn't have to build it up. I just put it all over my face with one coat. <laughs> the one coat, that just sounds funny. Like I'm painting my nails or painting a car. Yeah. This is a one coat coverage, so I really like that, especially because I have some red spots all over my face. My face has been agitated and broke out, so this was a perfect time to check this for coverage. Really, really like the coverage. I'm going to check the price, and so the price I will put right up here somewhere. We will see how well this does all day. So this is about an hour into it, an hour and a half after I put on finished my makeup and so in an hour it still looks really pretty but we still have several more hours to go. I'm going to be out and about and I actually will be at the dentist so goodness knows what will happen around the lip area. I do not plan on touching up. I don't plan on blotting even though I'm going to the dentist. I'm hoping that well you're just going to see what it looks like after the dentist. So the dentist may be pulling off makeup around my lips. Who knows? So yeah, we'll see if this is dental approved foundation. I don't think I've ever heard anyone on YouTube say it's dental approved foundation. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why I'm cracking myself up so much today. Worse than normal. I always make myself laugh. Y'all may not hear what's going on in here. Most people don't need to hear what's going on here, but I'm always cracking myself up. Life's too short. You gotta laugh a lot. Like a mini vacation. Okay, I just went down a long rabbit trail and not talking about the NYX foundation. Anyways, you're gonna see how I pounced on the foundation with the Makeup Geek Beauty Blender. And again, it just pounced into the skin really, really nice. I am over the moon shocked with this foundation. I will say that I've tried several upscale foundations and just haven't been to, you know, it's like, eh. I've done this like drugstore foundation run recently because Ulta had a big sale on like half off or quarter off or whatever. So I bought a ton of different foundations. A lot of them were drugstore. And man, these drugstore ones are kicking. I'm getting better service, better wear time, better coverage out of drugstore foundations than I, I am on these top end. I don't know what happened to the drugstore world. I guess they got tired of maybe having lower sales because people were going to high end to get that all day wear test, so to speak, or that all day wearability and decided to up their game. But buddy, now they're putting the expensive ones on the back burner. I love, love, love the fact that drugstore companies are really upping their game and helping women that might be on a little bit tighter of a budget but still want to be beautiful or still want to feel beautiful be able to. And, and to be able to all day. So thank you to the drugstore companies because this will be the third one if this one performs like the other two. Holy mackerel. I guess I'm already calling this one into existence that this one is going to last all day. I'm just going to be positive about it. How about that? All right. Enough about my rambling. Enough about my rambling. I've had two cups of coffee. Don't hold it against me. I'm going fast and hard. All right. So here we go. Good morning. Today we are going to try the NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat Foundation. 
I'm really curious about it. It's in a little squeeze tube and it has 1.18 fluid ounces. This color we're using today is in soft beige. It says to shake well, but like, I don't know why because there's no room. It doesn't feel like there's any room in there. We're going to start out with the Makeup Primer Spray Oil Control. I put some on my little palette. Yes, that looks lovely, doesn't it? That's why I picked a different spot. We're going to pounce this into the skin. That went on really nice. And you saw how I have a lot of red in my face and it's kind of healing from being broke out. And that covered super nice, super nice. I'm giving Nick so far the thumbs up on that one. All right, I'm gonna continue to put on the rest of my makeup and we're gonna see how this baby holds up all day. It still has a little bit of shine to it. So I don't know if that's because it's, yeah, it's still tacky. So it hasn't dried down yet. So we'll see how matte this is. And then again, what it looks like either throughout the day, if I'm lucky, and end of day, because it's an all day wear test. So the end of day has to happen. Anyhow, let's wish Nick luck. Not Nick, Nick's. Let's wish Nick's luck. I ended up using the Scandinavia Finishing Primer Spray on the rest of my face. It has now dried. I'm gonna take a look at the skin, and I already did a sneak peek myself. So now I'm gonna let you in on what's going on. All right, it is setting on the skin really, really nice. I don't see anything collecting in fine lines, and I've got a lot of those, so I should know. I'm an experienced fine line person. Yeah, it's just set up on the skin. Super, super nice. So we're going to see how this does all day. If I'm lucky, I'll get a midday check-in. Don't know that I will, but I can always try. And we'll see how this NYX performs. Go NYX! Go well, NYX! Welcome! It has been 11 hours and I didn't get to do a midday check-in like I had anticipated. My day went out of control. My day controlled me, but I did get to the dentist. And so we're gonna see how this foundation held up with the people working on my teeth. That's all I'm gonna say. Here we go. Up close and personal time. I have found the third drugstore foundation that I am digging. Now, this overall, I can tell like my nose, like the foundation I had yesterday, the name escapes me, CoverGirl, has like lifted. I feel like if I touch my nose, it's gonna, the foundation's gonna go. I do have some breaking up right there and I did not have glasses on. This is without touching up or pulling off any oil through the day. Now I must have touched my nose at some point right there because I've got a, I got a little skid mark there. But as far as everywhere else, it's looking good. The chin's not too bad. Not too bad. I can see a little, you know, a bit of redness coming in. And my forehead looks pretty good. So overall, this is another drugstore foundation that seems to perform better so than the more expensive three ones. foundations that I've tried. I am really liking. I may need to do kind of a head to head or face to face or eye to eye, whatever we want to call it with now these three to see which one is the best because again I'm pretty impressed with the coverage after 11 hours. It it does like I said on my nose look like it's lifted a bit. Let me see if I can pounce that back into place. We're gonna see if we can well we kind of pounce that back into place. Hmm pretty crazy. I'm just absolutely thrilled. I feel like the sun has come through parted clouds because these foundations are not that expensive. They're drugstore and they are lasting all day. I cannot tell you how pumped I am. I mean, my mascara has even flicked off. My foundation hasn't. So this is just absolutely fantastic. I'm sure most of you know what I'm gonna say next. I want to know, have you tried this? How long have you tried it for? Has it stayed? Are you having luck like me? I mean, the oil doesn't look bad. And it, you know, it's been a cool day today for sure. 
but I'm still just overly impressed with the fact that the foundation's in its spot. It is in its spot. Ooh, it's like Christmas. Three new drugstore foundations that will stay right in this area because of performance. This is absolutely exciting.